the Australian arm of this global hardline group has repeatedly shocked with their public statements. Do you want to kill ex-Muslims? Okay, so it's clear that apostates uh, do attract capital punishment. Hitzbot Tariya is a conveyor belt for terror. Liberal MP Gareth Ward today tabled a motion in state parliament calling on his federal counterparts to consider banning Hizbut Tariya people who say that women should be segregated and that it's all right for men to beat their wives. This is taking a step far too far. Despite being banned in most Middle Eastern countries and a host of others, here the group has held mass rallies denouncing Jews and calling for an Islamic caliphate and Sharia law. The leader of Hizbut Tahrir Australia won't be hosting any rallies like that here anytime soon. In July he was arrested in Jordan. He's receiving consular assistance and his family is asking the government to help free him. Ironically, the same government he's long campaigned to overthrow. His passport's been confiscated by them. Once before, he's been refused um, entry to Denmark. He's been expelled from Indonesia. Seven News revealed the group's radical youth program and its sister group justifying domestic violence. He is permitted, not obliged here or not encouraged, but he's permitted to hit her. Nobody should be able to incite violence against other Australians. Not individuals, not small groups, not large organisations. Brian Seymour, 7 News.